Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play Minecraft episode. So we are still kind of hanging out in the spawn chunks area, and as always, I'm having problems with doors. Um, but I decided that I wanted to get the beginnings for a little automated farm started. So I went ahead and right next to the future site of the one-click uh, vegetable farm on each side, I've decided to create a pumpkin farm. So uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, we'll have uh, bud switches all in this general region right here, and pumpkins will grow all through here and all of that stuff, yeah. So yeah, pretty simple design. Uh, and it didn't really take that long. And it looks like we may be getting close to having some pumpkins. So yeah, I decided that I wanna mirror this over on the other side. And I think, I think we'll do two sets of pumpkins, because, I mean, come on, you can never have too many pumpkins. So let's do all of the pumpkins. And I ran out of dirt, so I've got lots of dirt now. I have a great supply of dirt. So unfortunately, there was a little bit of a uh, river or puddle or pond or whatever you want to call it over here. So I had to kind of fill all of this in, but now it's all filled in, so we are ready to continue. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll see you guys in just a little while. All right, so I managed to get this side pretty much done. Um, I mean, obviously I don't have pumpkin seeds for this side just yet, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's done. There's a, a couple of little dirt holes back around in here that I still need to fill in, but that can always be done later. So yeah, uh, I think the next thing that I really need to do, unfortunately, is just uh, wait for the uh, the pumpkins over here to grow, harvest them, smash them into seeds, and plant the side. So that's going to take quite a while. Uh, I am not going to have you guys sit through that. But I think while I'm waiting for... Oh, it looks like I've got a couple of good stalks over here now. While I'm waiting for all these pumpkins to grow, I think I might do a little mining. Um, yeah, I'm going to look around, book around, see if I can find like a, a nice cave. And uh, head on in. I've got some torches. Uh, I put a little bit of wood in the uh, the chest, or not the chest, but the furnace contraption that uh, Nate made over there. So I'm making up some charcoal. And uh, yeah, so charcoal and sticks will give me torches. So I think I will grab some of that and head on down into a little bit of a mining session. Uh, if I see anything interesting, I'll probably show you guys some highlights or something. But uh, otherwise, that's what I'll be doing. So I will see you guys in uh, after I find something. All right. So I tried a few caves and I came up short. So I figure I'll just go down here in uh, Nate's little mine, and we can see what we can come up with. I know I got this little uh, this little bit right here started the other day uh this is or at least it should be uh just about diamond level so i figure why not start here so yeah depending on the outcome of how this goes i will either cut to a time lapse or just end it and we will call it a day um so uh let's get started all right so that didn't go so well um, I did find a little bit of redstone, but I don't remember if you can pick up redstone with a stone tool or with iron for that matter. So um, I'm pretty sure you can with iron. But then I decided that I wasn't happy with this mine shaft. So I'm going to do a community service and expand it. I think uh, three wide should be good. And I'm also going to replace the uh, bricks here with stairs. So I made up a bunch of cobblestone stairs, and I'm just gonna make this three wide stairs going all the way down to diamond level. And uh, yeah, I think the guys will appreciate that if, with and or when they come down here to mine. And then the other thing is I want to fix the lighting issues that we're having. Uh, that will be helpful. And what else? Oh yeah, and get a uh, kind of a strip mine set up, set up, set up, set up. Yeah, that's right, okay. Cool, so I'm gonna get to work on that. I'll show you guys uh, some progress here in a bit. All right, there we go. We've got our staircase all built and I built a little shack thing up top. I just need to throw a couple doors on real quick and this little uh, mini project will be complete. Uh, yeah, I think this will work out just fine for now, I believe. 
get out of here stuff. I don't want you. Cool. And set of double doors. We can put some uh, pressure plates on the inside, I guess. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Uh, I have too many things in my inventory. One and two. Perfect. Okay, there we go. And boop and boop. Done. We are all set. All right, cool. Well, I'm not going to end the episode yet, but I am out of time. So I will uh, go ahead and cut this away and pick it up uh, somewhere else a little bit later on. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, for you, it's been about eh, zero seconds. But for me, it is 24 hours later. Uh, so I talked to Sting earlier today on the interwebs. And, oh, he said he had built a shack. So I'm thinking that is probably it. But what is this? I don't. Let's go check that out. What's this thing over here? Mm, uh, this looks like it's a mine shaft. Yeah, it's a mine shaft. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna poke around a little bit. I need to go check on the uh, the pumpkins over there. See how they're doing. And uh, get some pumpkins uh, probably planted over on the other uh, little pumpkin farm setup that we've got set up. So I'm going to go work on that real quick. And I'll let you know if I find anything else uh, kind of dotted around. That looks cool. All right. So uh, got all the uh, pumpkins uh, harvested, moved, and all that stuff. And did a little bit of derp around. Uh, did a little bit of looking. And I see that... Sting has actually uh, put a chest in here uh, for valuables, and it looks like he beat us to diamonds, because, uh, yeah, we've got diamonds now. And iron. Hmm, that's a lot of iron. We could actually probably make the... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I want to... Hmm. Yep, I'm going to do it. Okay, um, so yeah, we're going to take this. I need cobble. Uh, we'll grab this redstone. Uh, Thanks, Sting. I will take all of these things. And we are going to add a layer of automation to our farm. So, yeah, let's do that. That should be pretty good. All right. Um, so we'll take this and do that right there. We'll add these guys here. Put that on top. Oops, forgot. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. I've completely forgotten how to redstone. Uh, Alright, so let's grab our... There, we've got 16 pistons, so now we can go ahead and automate... Well, slightly. Uh, I need a lever. So let's do... Uh, is it smooth stone? I don't remember. No, it's not. It's cobble. Awesome. And then we should only need... Two levers for this. Cool. So we've got some redstone, we've got some pistons, and we've got some levers. So we are going to go ahead and add a layer of automation to the farm. Cool. Uh, but it's nighttime, so I'm going to sleep real quick, and I'll meet you guys over there in just a minute. All right, here we are over by the farm. Oh, geez. Mouse just went crazy there for a second. Um, Alright, so we are going to go ahead and uh, pick up some of this water. I think that's probably a good place to start. So we'll just pick up those two. And then eh, we'll just fill all this stuff in. Just like that. Okay, cool. So now, if we go ahead and put our line of pistons exactly here, just facing up, uh, that should be fine. Or we could do it facing down, and that would also be fine. So, which way should we go? Uh, down would definitely be easier, because we could just stick them uh, basically right here, facing down, and then run redstone right along this line here, and that would power them. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll do that. But do we want to make this one bigger? So, do we want to actually put the pistons here? I don't know if we want to do that or not. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to give this a little uh, a little mess about and see exactly what I want to do. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do whatever I decide. 
All right, so I've got the uh, the dimensions sorted out, and uh, basically we need to put uh, pistons facing down. If you're going to do down, you do it down. But we need to put them all along here, right like this. So this might require just a little bit of uh, creative uh, exit strategy on my part to get out once I get the last couple of pistons in, but it should be fine. So like here, I'll just dig this way. And then all we need to do is fill in these blocks right here. If I can do it without messing up, I can't. There, all right, now that we have all this done, next we can remove our little bit of uh, dirt scaffolding stuff that we put in place. We're gonna put dirt, uh, it could be any block up, but I'm just gonna use dirt right here. And then I messed up, shoot. Um, we're gonna take this dirt back out because I need to put the water there, because gosh, okay. And then we'll just remove these all the way across. And this will be our uh, spot for the water, okay. And then we might as well, hmm, how do we want to do this? Uh, I guess we could leave that like this and just put the lever right here, maybe. And then run redstone across the top, maybe. Let's see, does that even work? I think it does, right? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, how do I get back up? It's dirt. Okay. Uh, and then here. And then... I just recently realized that I'm not running my mod pack. My resource pack? Not mod pack. I'm not running my resource pack. Okay, cool. Now that that is all extended, perfect. I'll just grab my two buckets. And we can get this all filled in. Sweet. Okay. And then, oh, it's almost night. Whenever I'm ready to uh, harvest this up, all I do is flick the lever. Water spills out. And crap. I built this wrong. Okay. Uh, let's start over. All right, so I've got the area all prepped for the pistons. So uh, I got this little channel right here. This is the, where the pistons are going to go. They're just going to face uh, straight down. So we'll just kind of uh, block ourselves in this hole like that and get ourselves back out. Great. Now we can replace all that dirt so that the water has a nice, smooth, even place to go. Just like that. Perfect. Now, as far as the lever placement goes i think i'll just stick it uh, kind of right here maybe on the front uh right there okay that's fine and then we'll just put redstone if i can jump up jump up can i jump okay i can we'll put redstone up here all the way across just like this dust all the way up and we will flick the lever all of the pistons yep they all went down so then we'll just grab some water and some more water and we'll just put water all the way across like this and pick it up put it down pick it up put it down pick it up put it down awesome okay so now if we did this correctly this should harvest all of our crops they're not quite done yet but they're done enough so let's go ahead and flick the lever water pours out and perfect yes that's great um i am uh, i'm happy with this so yeah i guess i'm gonna pick up all the crops replant the field well i gotta wait for me to get down but pick up all the crops replant the field uh and kind of re reproduce this over on the other side and just for convenience sake I'll, I'll make another lever that's not a problem but i'm gonna put a lever right over here as well so that way it is usable from either side and i didn't need that one Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go get started on this and I'll pop back with you guys when I get done. All right. So there we go. This side is complete. So let's go ahead and give it a test and we should be uh, all set. Uh, I guess, yeah, whatever. Not all the crops are done, but that's fine. So flick the lever. Everything gets harvested. It goes on down, goes on down and goes on down. Perfect. Cool, so we now officially have two fully working, semi-automatic-ish sort of farms. So yeah, pretty good stuff. 
for uh, a day's work. Uh, I will need to kind of redesign these once we get the piston, or not the pistons, but the the, uh, the dispensers. Um, it's going to change up the configuration just a little bit, uh, not a lot. And I would like it if the water didn't actually flow into this last channel. I think I miscounted when I was building it. So not a big deal, but uh, just something to be aware of for the future. So that is going to actually do it for this episode, guys. I do want to thank you a bunch for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Catch out, check out, catch out. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm having a, uh, a day of not being able to talk. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. All right, bye.